Well, yesterday it was trying for me. It was it was kind of hard for me to deal with stress, yada yada, blah blah blah. So I'm upset because of some events just recently. And I told a friend of mine, I'm like, you know, man, you know, you can win. Sometimes you can't win all the time. Um, and then I remember talking to another friend of mine about something completely different. And that brings us to this right here. Uh, a second ago, I tried to do this video. And um, as you see, I'm like in the middle of the video right now. And this is the beginning. Uh, I tried to do this video a second ago. And I was talking about stereotypes. And I'm, I'm off that kick. It just upsets me how many times, you know, whenever people assume black people do something, it's always crack or black people always got to be doing drugs or robbing and raping people and it's not like that I'm just tired of hearing people call me monkey and bullshit like that so let me get back to what I really wanted to talk about and that is the fleecing of people now me and Sean 67 we talked a couple of weeks ago about the Michael Jackson movie before it came out and I told him I'm saying if the video if this movie is going to be out for two days then that's what it should do. Two days and two days only. Because, you know, anything after two days, they're going to bootleg Michael Jackson's video. And then who's going to want to go see it next year if they got it at home? And that's what I'm saying. Who, who's going to go want to buy this concert footage, even though it's of a, a legendary singer? Um... Who's going to buy it? Who's going to want it? And it's, it's pitiful. It is bad that it came down. I mean, it's completely pitiful. It's bad. Now, I like Michael Jackson. I don't like the fact that I paid good money to go see this and I'm at home watching it right now. It hurt me not because it's Michael Jackson, because this is the field in which I want to be and I want to be a part of Hollywood. I want to do a couple movies. I want to hit mainstream a couple times before it's over. But I don't want to hit mainstream like this. I want my work to be known and recognized because people know my artistry. I don't want the situation to just deteriorate. Now, Michael Jackson has passed away. And, you know, I told my buddy, I'm like, if they put this Michael Jackson movie out, somebody's going to bootleg it. And what's gonna, who's going to go see it next year? If it's bootleg, plastered all over the internet for free. It's... It's pitiful. Um, what can I say? I mean, when you got something in the theater, download automatically on your computer because of a keyword, that's not right. It's not fair to the artist. It's not fair to the fans. It's not fair to those people who believe in their craft. If these people want to give this movie out for free, they would have did it. Um, if there's any legacy to be held, it's not going to happen. Personally, I would have released the movie for two days. The movie would have been out for two days. Thus eliminating the ability of the, like this, 
in two days you're less likely to get a clean copy on the internet <clears throat> excuse me and that's what's sad about it it's like he made a hundred and million dollars in a week and that's it you might make more money selling the DVD but to put this movie out again next year for Michael Jackson's birthday it's not gonna work because people have already downloaded and got the cleanest copy ever in their house so me personally I kept a little snippet just for today's video um, actually it's a pretty good snippet one of the best parts of the movie that I like but Michael Jackson that has was great in the last few minutes things have become a little bit better heading south to 237 so it is pretty slow back on the news now there's a new accident in Milpitas northbound 880 at I just want to tell Sean TV's way up there. TV's up high. Oh, so I said I wasn't gonna talk about race. This guy's calling me monkey. He's calling me all kind of names. Blah 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 blah. And I asked him why are you calling me these names. Nobody can tell you why they calling you names. But um, <laughs> oh man, that did get to me apparently. I don't like to be called names. Especially when, you know, the circumstances didn't warrant me being called a name. Oh, look, like I was saying, when it comes to Michael Jackson's This Is It, the movie should have only been released for two days, thus eliminating the ability to get a clean bootleg copy onto the market. I think it would have helped. I think, um, when it comes to movie theaters that they have this stuff that uh, you can spray so you can't take a picture of a license plate maybe they ought to put that on the screen so when people go on with the video cameras that it would kick back a kickback glare or something and you can't get the bootleg I also want to say something I know this is completely unrelated but um that same stuff they spray on the um license plates so you can't get a picture of the license plate some dancers use so you can't get the pictures of the driller. so when they spray this sheen stuff on if you're taking pictures that spot will always be blacked out I just want you to know that for future references coat the movie screen I mean coat the screen that's the that is playing on so maybe the a camera sheen, you know, something. But as far as the movie This Is It goes, it was a good movie from a musical's perspective, from an artist's perspective. You know, as an artist, I love the movie. As a person, there are some things I would have changed in the movie. As a director, there's definitely some stuff I would have did different. As a fan, there's songs that I would have wanted to see that I didn't. But as a regular individual, a human being, me, as me, myself, I think the movie should have only been shown for two days. I think now that it's bootlegged and I think that they're going to have a problem trying to get people to see it again next year. That's all. Um, Jackson family, I wish them luck. They don't need it. They got money. So, hey, that's it for today. I did three videos today, two on race, to let you know I'm tired of it. All right? So, those people who want to talk on race, send me solutions. Don't send me questions. Thank you. And I'm done for today. I'm getting back to the music studio. I'm, I'm building these beats. For when the old man returns, we can jam. You've been too. <clears throat>